Drama Harry Camels. Oh, did you see? Is that not beautiful coat? They're my sweet crazy girls. Look at that. How cool is this? Two green anacondas just hanging from my hands. He's eating. He's growing. He's growing. He's getting bigger. How cool is this? What is going on, my beautiful people? I'm hanging out with a boy, my Eurasian eagle owl, my handsome boy. Can I get a whoo? No, just, just uh, not so happy horse noises. Just hanging out, enjoying the AC. It is cooking out. We are back in the summer and we're getting all these projects done. I am so excited, guys. We got so much good stuff cooking. Let's go feed some baby camels. I'll see you later, Bagoy. Don't destroy my olive garden decorations, boy. I love you, Bagoy. Oh, okay. I love you so much. Oh, okay. Let me touch you. So cute. <laughs> Guys, I'm hanging out with Rusty right now. And we just, oh! I was just about to say this black Thanks, dragon's man. getting real used to us. <laughs> oh, look who it is, Kameo Humphrey. You want some milk? Come on, you want some milk, my big boy? You've been pooping on, oh! <laughs> uh, that's okay, that happens. There you go, big boy. Oh, bro, that was you, you did that. I did not, don't comment below that I just did that. It was his fault. Oh, here comes Timmy. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's get Timmy. Let's get Timmy involved too. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Yip, 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 yip. All right, all right. Everyone settle down. Everyone settle down. Timmy, Timmy, tame the beast. Come on. There you go. <laughs> all right, two beautiful one hump dromedary camels. Lovely creatures from the Middle East living in the deserts. You know, some people wonder, how do they do in Florida? Will they do good in this kind of climate? Well, the truth is they're well adapted to the heat, no problem. But one problem is there's no parasites in the deserts of the Middle East. Oh! So basically these guys are not accustomed to dealing with parasites. So when they're in places like Florida, where you can get parasites from the soil and from poop and stuff like that, you gotta keep on top of them and make sure they don't get a gut load of parasites and you treat them every couple months. But so far these guys are doing good. That's why I keep them on sand in their enclosure because the sand reduces the ability to get parasites from the mud and whatnot. Oh God, it's a mess, but oh. Okay, all right, all right, you wanna, look what you did to Timmy. Look what you did to Timmy's poor face. He's just an innocent child and you did that to him. Oh God. The reason it's coming out like that is because I cut the nipple too big on the hole where the milk comes out. So it's just kind of like gushing out. Dude, you're dirty. Can we organize a little bit? Come out, you come over here. Okay, Timmy, thank you. Mm -hmm. And there you go, you take that bottle. Oh, yeah. He's like a Komodo dragon, but it's the saliva, it's milk. Oh, there you go. Nice strong bones you're gonna have. <laughs> you happy? Okay. Oh, nice kiss. Oh, thank you, Kameo. Even though they, they make a mess and they, they try to trample me sometimes, I love them to death. They're my big giraffe horse goat hybrids. I love these guys. I love my big old Kameo Humphrey. Give me a kiss, Kameo. Give me a kiss. Mm. Mm. I love you and your floppy lips, boy. Speaking of ugh, speaking of feeding, we're gonna be feeding all the snakes in the snake house. And oh, oh, I'm pretty sure Kevin the King Cobra just came out of shed. So we're gonna go see how he's doing and see what he looks like right now. Come here, let Timmy eat. You done? Oh, don't eat my tattoo. Oh, now I'm covered in milk. I feel so strong. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Kevin finally shed his skin. We got the last third of his body right there. We got a big chunk over there. And Kevin just ate another python. Ooh. Let's go see what's going on with him. I think he might have some skin still stuck on the top of his head. We've got skin all over the place. We got little hens. There's, there's a king cow right nearby. <laughs> this is insane. This is his belly scales. His ventral scales. They're massive. Look at that next to my finger. Huge, giant ventral scales used to move the snake. It's incredible, no limbs. These animals are so capable, even more capable than most people. Look at this, more shed skin. And this is a bioactive setup. So I actually do have isopods in here that are gonna break down that skin. Look, he's right here. He's looking beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Kevin, what's up, buddy? How you doing? You wanna come over a little bit? His face is a little smushed up. Earlier today I had a tour and he like bumped the glass, but that will go back to normal. He just needs to readjust his jaws. But you see right here, you see there's a 
little bit of dry skin. He shed all of his skin off except for that bit on the very top. I'm just going to try and gently relax. It's okay, buddy. I'm just going to try and gently remove that skin. It's okay, buddy. I don't want to manhandle him too much. Woo! The strike range on King Cobra is immense. I'm just going to hold him for one second. There we go. That's all I had to do. I'm sorry, buddy. Just had to take off that little bit of skin that was still stuck. Look at him. Oh, what a beast. Look at him when he comes out of shed. He's so beautiful. What a beautiful King Cobra. Relax, buddy. Nice and easy. See, he just wants to get away. He wants nothing to do with me. Look at him. He can stretch across the whole enclosure and live his best life here in this captive situation. If you're going to have animals in captivity, you got to give them everything possible to live the best life. See, his lip went right back to normal. It was just pressing a little bit from earlier. What's up, dude? And he's eating. He's growing. <laughs> He's growing, he's getting bigger. How cool is this? We're inside an enclosure that looks like a little cutout of Malaysia with all this bamboo. You did a good job, buddy. All that shed skin. In the near future, king cobras are going to be split off into multiple species. Right now, it's just one species in the family, but there's got to be at least like 10 to 20 something different types of king cobras out there. Maybe even 30 something different types. Look at that. Let me get that camera for a second. I want to show you guys how beautiful. Wait, I get to see. Look at this guy. Ooh, big boy. You are so good looking, Kevin. I'm so proud. Oh, ho, ho. you're cranky. You going to go do your thing? Good boy. What a beast. Look at him. So many places to hide. How cool is that? Woo, cranky boy. Got to make sure I lock this. So we're good to go. Boy, get out of there. All right, Kevin, I'll see you around. Woo, all right, shields on, we're ready to go. As you can see, we have another fresh shed from the Spitting Cobra Slipknot. She's a black neck Spitting Cobra from Africa. She's got dry venom all over the glass. Gotta give this enclosure a nice deep cleaning. So let's see how she's acting. She must look beautiful now. What's up, mama? This snake's incredibly gorgeous, but incredibly dangerous all at the same time. Let's get her out. Woo, hoo, hoo. she flies like crazy. Look at that beautiful black neck spinning cobra, straight from Africa. What's up, mama? How you doing today? Really dangerous to handle. She flies over her own body like it's nothing. So I gotta be super careful. And she's a big snake. Look at her, she's massive. Beautiful black neck spinning cobra. Slipknot, not the friendliest name, but one of my favorite things. And she's pretty gnarly. She deserves a gnarly name. Relax, mama, nice and easy, nice and easy. See that big, beautiful, broad hood? These guys are huge. And they can get even bigger than this and thicker. Look at that snake. Jet black. All right, let's get this nice and taken care of. Nice and secure, good to go. Whew, I don't like wearing shields, but I do like having good eyesight, so we're gonna keep them on. You got a nice whole shed. I don't think I'm gonna hold on to this shed for the guests because this animal scent marks the cage, meaning it poops everywhere, it's just nasty. I don't want to give somebody a shed from a snake that's honest. Oh, it smells like ramen noodles. Maybe you guys would want it. <laughs> smell this. What do you think it smells like? Does it smell like top ramen? Oh, that's ramen. Uh, chicken flavor. I might put this in my soup later. <laughs> All right, I got a lot to clean, so I'll see you guys in a split. <laughs> Wore my stretchy pants today. Ow! Ow! Ooh, ain't nothing. All right, nice clean enclosure, clean glass, fresh water. We can put Slipknot back. Eventually, we're gonna get into a bigger enclosure. And as we do little by little bumping everyone out, everyone's gonna have a nice big space, which is great. But snakes, for the most part, like to be secretive and have nice tight hiding places. So, there we go. Look at this beautiful snake. Woo -hoo. Relax, baby, relax. Nice and easy. So I'm just trying to keep her nice and comfortable. Let you guys get a good look at that red neck. Look at that. Is that not insane? What a beautiful snake. She just is very flighty and very defensive. I don't blame her. It's not her fault. She just wants to be left alone. Just like you and I, we want our peace. There you go. Right back inside the enclosure. And now she has a fresh canvas where she can poop and spray venom wherever she likes and make it any kind of artistic design. Locked and secure. So much good stuff going on. Kevin's enclosure looks amazing. Kevin's eating. We're working on making these conservation efforts. And soon before you guys know it, we're gonna have massive crocodiles, bigger than the ones that we have now. We're gonna have massive crocodiles. We're gonna be traveling the world 
and we're gonna be doing everything we can to make a difference for the animals that we love. All right, I gotta make a quick little meeting happen for some projects here. And after I'm done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna feed all the snakes. So I'll see you guys in a split second. My crotch hurts, no split. All right, my beautiful people, we're gonna be feeding all the snakes. I got a nice bucket full of uh, scrumptious hors d'oeuvres for snakes, and that means that I was crawling through the sewers last night collecting rats. So now we're gonna feed all the snakes. We're gonna skip all the baby covers because I actually have to clean them and feed them. So that's gonna be a whole process. So first, we're gonna be starting with the puff adder from Africa, one of the fastest striking snakes on the planet. He's actually still in blue, he's shedding. So, oh, did you see that? Look at this. Oh, swallowing it as he struck. Look at that. Such a beautiful snake. These guys have such a nasty type of venom that literally rots your flesh to the point where you get gangrene and your flesh rots and you have to get an amputation. Look at his face. Beautiful pinks. And they're very variable with coloration depending on what country they come from, what terrain they're being found on. We have a king brown in here. King browns are from Australia. They eat other venomous snakes. So they're like the king cobra of Australia. And these guys can roughly get around eight feet long if they're a true king brown. This guy is actually a pygmy, so he's full grown at four feet. Let's see what happens. He might shoot out for us. You hungry? You hungry, buddy? Ooh, oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Little jack in the box. Look at that guy. Look at him. Oh, he's just pumping it full of venom. So they actually have the largest venom yield of any venomous snake in Australia. Drop for drop, it's not as potent as other venomous snakes found in Australia, but like the king cobra, they have so much venom in one bite, they put their food in toxicity overload, and the body can't process the venom. Therefore, the reptile it's eating becomes food. This snake, this is the crankiest Indian cobra in the collection. Indian cobras are in the top four most responsible for bites in India. For the top four, you have the saw scale viper, the Russell's viper, the crate, and then you have the beautiful Indian cobra. These guys are the reason that so many people get bit every year in India. There are over 50,000 bites in India every year. Most of them go untreated because people live in rural areas where you can't get the anti-venom or anti-venine, as you're supposed to say. You want some food? Woo! come on. Ooh, look at that little death roll. Beautiful Indian cobra. Big old boy. He'll get a girlfriend in the future. Maybe he can get hooked up with marshmallow. Who knows? Let's close that up. Put a lock on it, make sure it's nice and secure. Yellow anaconda's next. We got a big, beautiful, already at the glass, just came out of shed, Mick, my yellow anaconda. Come on, Mick, oh, snap, and there you go. Snap, crackle, pop, baby, that's all it is. Yeah, it's as good as done. Next, we got Pearl, the leucistic monocrop cobra. I think she's going through shed again, so she is growing nonstop. Let's see how she is today. Maybe we can get her to come out for this food. Let's see, a nice decent sized rat for her because she's going to be growing like crazy as time goes on. You in there? Oh, hello. Oh yeah, she's going through shed again. Look at that. Hello. Ooh, you're so cranky. Look at that. Beautiful leucistic monocled cobra. So instead of having pink red eyes with like a yellowish skin tone, these guys are clean white with black or blue eyes being leucistic. How cool is that? and more potent drop for drop than a king cobra, because this is a true cobra right here. Here we have the Uricoan rattlesnake, endemic to Venezuela. And like clockwork, this snake will strike out when the glass opens, because it's got perfect heat-seeking pits to locate where that food's at. So let's get that rat ready so we're not the food. Just gonna offer a little rat today. Hello. Woohoo! Here, you want some food? Want some food? Nice and easy. Whoa, what kind of strike was that? Come on. Okay, well, food's right there. You can have it. Let's get this nice and secure. There we go. No bites today, nice and safe. Nothing like it out there. You. We got Alice in the Black Mamba. She is ready to go. It's summertime, it's hot. She's always ready to eat. So I'm gonna get out two, maybe even three rats for her. Because we want her to get nice and big. Look, look at this, look how ready she is. She does not mess around. Look at this, watch. She's so fast at striking. Want some food? Easy, mama. Boom. Simple as that. She is such a huge black mama. I'm gonna leave that for her. Oh, I guess I'm not leaving it there, but 
me throw another rat right in there. Throw a third so she can have a nice meal and get nice and big. There we go. Get a lock on that. Make sure it's nice and secure. You happy? Look at that face. She's got like black doll's eyes. But if you look even closer, she does have some coloration. Almost, almost blue like the ocean if the ocean was pitch black at night. <laughs> Mamba's is nice and secure. Now we can move on to the pygmy rattlesnake. One of the smallest rattlers on the planet. So we have the big Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, which is the biggest rattler out there. And we have one of the smallest, the pygmy here in Florida. He is tiny, but do not underestimate him. He will envenomate you. No problem, put you through a lot of pain. Woo look at you. That is a beautiful looking rattlesnake. There we go, just gonna leave that right in there for you. We're gonna close this up and secure it. All right, we still have Tyler Nolan snakes over here. So we have this Eastern Dimeback rattlesnake that we gotta feed. What this? Woohoo! did you see those fangs? World's largest species of rattlesnake. They can literally get upwards to eight feet long. That's insane. Imagine an eight foot rattlesnake. And then we have a South American rattlesnake down here. Wanna check? Woo, check for you, huh? How's that? You want this? Boom, what a pig of a rattlesnake. Gonna close that up. Infamous Copperhead that everyone likes to talk about. Copperhead chased me, Copperhead stole my car, Copperhead took my wife. So many things Copperheads do, but I'll tell you what, they're good snakes. They're just here to eat little mice and frogs and live their lives and be left alone. So if you see a Copperhead, you should leave it alone too. They're good for the environment. Ooh, right there, ready to go. This snake is really bitey. It's like a little fertile ants. Want that? Nice big rat for you, buddy. Gonna get nice and big, be the world record Copperhead. And then we have the rankle spitter down here. I love spitting cobras. <laughs> They're beautiful, but man, it's not fun to get spit on. I mean, comment below, do you like to get spit on? Wait, you like to get spit in the mouth? What? Oh my goodness. Little rankles. Oh, that was really cool. Whoa. Okay, okay. Eat the rat. There we go. Psycho, psycho, psycho. <laughs> All right, good thing you didn't spit in my mouth. <laughs> Gonna put a rat in here. There we go. And now we can separate these snakes so they can all feed individually and not steal from each other. I just have to be very careful because when they smell rat, if you get bit by them in this stage, they're thinking there's food around, so they might fully envenomate, which would be a deadly dose of venom, especially when it comes to an Indian cobra, being a very highly neurotoxic snake. So we're just gonna take marshmallow out. Marshmallow, come here. Look at that beautiful Indian cobra. Oh, look at that hood. Is that not a beautiful cobra? I can't wait to breed this girl. They mate like crazy, but she needs to get some more size on her. She's getting there, a little bit. Oh, already went for the bite. Already looking to eat. Look at that, boom, she doesn't care, she knows. She's like, oh, this is the condo you put me in to eat food. Look at that, right away, chewing on the rat, no problem. So she's gonna keep growing like crazy. Now we have the boyfriend, he's going through shed. He's got some good size to him. He's a bit of a beast. He's not too crazy of an Indian cover like my other one. You hungry? You hungry? Uh oh. I think he's, oh yeah, he smells it. You want that? You want that? Come on. Boom. Perfect bite. There we go. You can see his eyes are a little opaque, so he's not seeing that well, but no worries. Some food's gonna make him feel real good. Put a lock on that, make sure it's nice and secure. We have Kobe, the black mamba. He's up next right here. He's going through shed, but he does not care. He still eats deep, deep in shed. He is a beast of a little mamba. One day he's gonna be a monster. They can literally get 14 feet long. He's being the second longest venomous snake on the planet behind the King Cobra. Let's see how he reacts today. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe, what are you doing, buddy? See his face? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that. Deep, deep, deep in blue. Look at that face. Holy smokes. Imagine getting bit by a black mama. That would suck. Good things behind the rat, not me. They are one of the most powerful neurotoxic snakes out there. Not in the top 10, but definitely able to shut your body down. Ooh, look at that. See the black on the inside of the mouth? That's why they're called black mambas. Look at that snake. Here you go. One more rat. Now let's close this up. There we go. Put a lock on it. Nice and secure. And now we can separate these Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes. What's up guys? Look, they're hungry in here, you know. They have the forked tongue, which allows them to pick up scent particles in the air. So they know that there's food already and they're going crazy. That's why they're so active. Did you guys know that a snake has a forked tongue? So whichever side of the fork picks up the most scent particles, it tells it what direction to head into. So if the left side has more scent for a rat, they know to go in the left direction. How cool is that? This is my male. 
Wait, no, this is my female. She's a big girl, look at that. Beautiful rattle, gorgeous looking rattlesnake. And we gotta get her into the tub in a safe manner. And as you guys know, nothing I do on my channel is safe. Everything's very dangerous. Let's get it right in there. There we go. Locked and secure, ready to eat. So she can stay in there. Let's take care of the male. You want this? Big rat, there you go. Boom. Leave that right there for him, nice little snack. Nice and secure. Uh, I don't want to feed this death adder too big of a rat. You can see the death adder is wiggling his tail right now. They use their tail as a lure to lure in skinks in the wild because skinks are so fast. These guys have to be the fastest striking snake on the planet and they're in the top eight most venomous on the planet. You hungry? Ooh, super fast. Look at that little guy. And then you see how he twitches back and forth, pumping that venom in. That is a gnarly little snake. Clet snake from the heart of Queensland, Australia, living underground most of its life. Beautiful red coloration. Not gonna feed this guy too much because he's been eating really good lately. I don't want to make him obese. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, did you see? Did you see that? He's ballistic. Look at him. All right, let me close this up before he comes out and bites my knuckles. These are my two personal South American rattlesnakes I've been raising for a little while. Their strike range is pretty tough, so I think what I'll do is because he's a pig, I'm gonna separate them. So give me one second. Now we got, ooh, they're all striking. Uh, I'm gonna take, let's see, we're gonna take the stripe one. That's what we did last time. Take the stripe one, ooh, separate them. We've got a bunch of rats waiting for them over here. Look at this beautiful guy. Full stripe. They come with diamonds or they come with just a stripe? Gorgeous South American rattlesnake. Two little rats in there ready to go so you can eat them. There we go. We throw a lock on that so it's nice and secure. We don't have any surprise jack of the boxes. All right, now we can feed the little girl. She's right over here. My little cutie. She's cute, but she's got a bite. A very respectable one. Uh, yeah, she can eat too. She can eat too. You want this? Huh? You hungry? <laughs> well, there's a lot of power behind that strike. You can feel it in the tongs. All right, put a lock on that, make sure it's nice and secure. Good to go. Come on, King Tut. Woohoo! Come on. Woohoo! What's up, buddy? Come on. Whoa! He's like, I am not coming out of the cage today. <laughs> what a beast of an Egyptian cobra. The same snake believed to be used by Cleopatra for suicide. How, how gnarly is that? Locked and secure. Oh, hey, Big Bertha. Big Bertha, the mother of all the baby cobras that I've been taking care of that we hatched out a couple months ago. She just shed again. She's getting nice weight to her. Big Bertha, she can have a nice rat. She's a monocled cobra. The first ever cobra I handled when I was a little kid, learning how to work with cobras. She's a beast, look at her. You take that rat right in there. There we go. And then we're just gonna take another rat, toss it in there so she can get fat. We want her to get some weight on her. Nice and secure. My female playing black snake. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful plain black snake. Looks like a black racer, but has enough venom to kill you and me both. Chinese sharp nose viper. You guys know this snake doesn't play any games. This is a pogo stick with fangs, and if you get bit, they say you have 100 steps left to walk. So crawl the last 20 steps, maybe get a wheelchair and wheel on out. I don't know. All right, we don't want any problems. We just want to feed you. Okay, <laughs> okay, you stay in that enclosure. Okay, Mr. Chinese, Mr. Mr. Pinocchio. Here you go. Eat the rat, eat the rat. We don't want violence, we want peace. He just wants a heat signature that he can bite. Kind of like the, ooh, 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 <laughs> nice and secure. <laughs> that snake's no joke. This is one of the snakes that doesn't put me on edge, but I got a lot of respect for every snake in here. But this one, a little bit extra. And then my green anacondas. So these guys are gonna keep growing and growing. And it is a privilege to be able to have these in the collection. I love green anacondas. What's more iconic than a green anaconda? Okay, yeah, a king cobra's more iconic than a green anaconda. A lion? I'm not getting a lion. 
Keep it for the comments. I'm trying to make a video. Shut up. Come here. Ugh. Gotta get you out of here if we're gonna feed you. There we go. So we got all these green anacondas ready to go. These are two ladies. I like to call them the Twisted Sisters because they're my sweet, crazy girls. Look at that, twisting up. Nice rat for you. We're gonna separate her. And then we got another rat right here for the other sister. Hello, Twisted Sister, would you? Oh, baby, you got some nice claw. Oh, you got a little blood butt on that rat, you see? Two beautiful green anacondas. The heaviest snakes on the planet. Longest snakes would be reticulated pythons, but these guys are the heaviest, getting upwards to 250 plus pounds, sometimes even more. And they can get roughly around 18 feet long. How cool is this? Two green anacondas just hanging from my hands. I love my life. All right, I'm gonna put this green anaconda right in here. This girl's gonna eat separate. We're gonna take this big girl and put her in the can. The snake one receptacle to be real specific. So you can read it right there. I'm not making stuff up. That's what it is. It's not a brute trash can. It's a snake horn receptacle. Get it right. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands so I don't get bit by another snake thinking my hands are rats. We're gonna do some kaboom vipers. The world's longest fangs and the largest venom yield oh, of any venomous snake on the planet. They have more venom in one bite than a king cobra. Can you believe that? King cobras can get over 18 feet and this guy can have more venom in one bite. This is a little one. They can actually get like six foot with a head that big with two plus inch long fangs. Look at that face. We'll get you guys real up close right now. That is a beautiful snake. How can you not love Gaboon vipers. And there are two species. This is Rhinosaurus, which have the rhino horns right on the tip of the snout. So there's East and there's West African Gaboon vipers. And then you have Rhino vipers, Puff Adders, Ethiopian Mountain vipers, and one or two other species in the Bittus family. Short, fat bodied snakes with gnarly fangs and venom. Yeah, thick little bodies, baby. Woo, sunshine. You hungry? Woo hoo hoo. Come on, sunshine. A beautiful male albino monocled cobra. Love this snake. You hungry? There you go. Look, already going in reverse. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below what you wanna see next and always follow your dreams. Do what makes you guys happy in life. This is what makes me happy, presenting wildlife to you guys, doing exactly what I'm meant to do, which is showing you guys the things that I love, Woo! which is crocodiles, snakes, camels, kookaburras, all that cool stuff. So I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and always stick to what you love. Follow your dreams. Everything will fall into place. Don't just do something because it makes good money. Do something because it puts a smile on your face. All right, beautiful people. I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Drama, dairy camels, lovely creatures.